In this video, we're going to look at some advanced features of Lightworks. And if you haven't seen the last video that I made about Lightworks 14, I would recommend you see that because it helps you to set up your project, get your clips in and start editing. What you can see on my screen is that I've already started a movie. Now I've been to the amazing videasy.com and I've just downloaded some really cool clips to do with the earth and nature. And I've spent some time double clicking each one and marking my ins and outs just to make sure that I don't waste time later. And I've already started editing this movie. So it starts off with a really nice sequence of the earth and then some aerial footage, some waves, and then this amazing dragonfly in slow motion. You'll notice that I don't have an audio track in my video, and that's on purpose because I'm going to put some music in at the end. You can see that I've changed my real IDs to numbers so that I can see which order my clips are going in. So let's just go for number five. And what you'll see is when I pick it up and put it in, you can see that the audio is there. So why is that? Why is the audio missing from here but over here? Well, the secret comes in just clicking this A1 and A2. Now that stands for audio one and two. Now in theory, what that means is the left and the right audio, that's a stereo track. So what I'm going to do is just click undo. I'm gonna to go to my audio and I'm gonna switch all the audios off there. I'm gonna pick up clip number five and I'm gonna put it down. You can see the audio doesn't come with it. So what happens if you put a video in and it comes with audio and you don't want the audio? So let's just go with that scenario. I'll switch the audios back on there. We're gonna go back to that clip over there and it comes with the audio and I don't want that audio. So what you would normally do with a clip that you don't want is just to right click on it and press delete or remove, whichever. Now in this case, what I'm going to do is I only wanna delete the audio and not the video itself. So I'm gonna go and disable the video channel. You can see it's kind of grayed out so it's no longer being edited. And I'm going to right click and just delete the audio. And you can see the audio disappears, but the video stays. Now, if I very quickly create my video, which is quite easy because I've moved all my in and outs exactly where they should be. So it's a simple case of picking up and dropping, like so, like so. And you can see I've already put the audio in there. So let's fix that before we cause a problem. Disable the audio and put that in there. Just move it along a little bit. And my final two clips, you can see they're very long. And the final clip there, which is the sunset. Now, if I just zoom out, you can see my project as a whole. If I just kind of scrub through that, you can see it's quite a nice abstract video and it kind of moves along. So, what if I wanted to put an audio track in there that didn't come with the original video? Well, that's actually quite easy. Well, what you need to do first of all is go and get a music track. Now, to warn you, Lightworks can be a little bit funny with some MP3 files. So what I've done is I've managed to get my music as a WAV file. This is kind of a safe way to do it. And Lightworks doesn't throw as many errors as it does with MP3s. This is definitely one of the weak things about Lightworks. So what I'm going to do is I'm in my local files, I'm going to click on the music WAV file and I'm going to import it. And what you should see now in my contents is the music file is now waiting there. So all that needs to be done is to move the music file onto the video file. But before I do that, I wanna give you a warning. Before you start adding music, just make sure that your video is what it should be and do your rough cuts as they should be. Now I notice that when I look at my timeline, I've got two extremely long clips and something about that doesn't seem right. So what I'm going to do is just play it, roughly speaking, so that I can see what's going on. So that first part is obviously what I want because it's my introduction, so I want that to be a little bit slow. And then as it goes on, it's going to change to the next clip, which is okay. The waves are pretty okay, but having a look at it now, I can see that they're a little bit long. So I'm gonna follow my own advice and I'm just going to go to the end of the clip with my mouse, click on my mouse, just drag it in a little bit. That's all I wanna do. Just make it a little bit shorter. I'm gonna go through and just kind of do that to all the clips that I've got, just to make sure. Now, the reason I'm doing that before I put the music in is once the music's there, it's gonna be a little bit harder 
to figure out all of these cuts and it's going to make my life a little bit more complicated. So, so far it's looking good and I'm just going to forward it through and just see what's happening. I think this mountain scene is a little bit too long. I'm going to shorten it just to about there. And then definitely my slow motion wave and hand off the boat is really a long clip. So let's just have a look at that slow motion wave. That's a pretty good shot, but I don't think we need to see it for that long. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the start of that wave down until it starts breaking. That should be really, yep, that's where I want it. And I think I want it to be about that long, about there where the surfers are. So I'll just stop it there. Again, take my mouse to the end. And just drag it down to about there. And definitely the hand in the water now is just too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the hand already in the water and make it about that short. There you go. So that to me kind of works a little bit better so we don't have two really long clips. Let's put the music in that we've been kind of waiting for all video. Let me just stop that. Now you can see that my video is activated and my audio isn't. I'm going to activate my audio. I'm going to pick up the sound and I'm going to drop it in. Now you can see that of course the music track is way longer than the video track. That kind of makes sense because most music tracks are in the minutes and this video is barely two minutes. So what we'll do is we'll just go to the beginning and see what it sounds like. Okay, that's pretty good, but part of the track that I wanted was actually where you can kind of see the waveform over here. It was where it kind of gets a bit more dramatic. So let's just have a look. Really, I want it to start on the drum. So let's just follow the same rules as before. So now in this case, I'm going to do it wrong so that you can see what a mess we can make out of it. So if I go over here and start editing, you can see I'm editing both the video and the audio. And that's not really what I want to do. So again, let me just undo that. So it's very important you learn how to disable and enable separate channels. That's either video or audio. And that way you're not going to get yourself into a mess. Now, if I do this, you can see that I can move it around. This is a really inefficient way of moving large film or large audio. So what I'm going to do is move my mouse all the way over here just before the drums come in. And I'm on my keyboard going to press the letter C. What that does, it creates a cut. I'm going to right click on the first part and I'm just going to delete it. Now that delete means move everything that was away into the start of the video. So now let's have a look at our video. Okay, now what I'm going to do here, I noticed that maybe I cut it a bit too soon. So I'm going to add a bit of the music again. And you can see where my mouse is, that's where the drums come in. So let's just listen to that again. That's actually quite a good start. So what I'm going to do, just for the sake of drama, I'm going to have those drums starting just before we... like so. Now, of course, when we start this video, it really doesn't sound good because if you now listen to it, it kind of starts in the middle of a track and you get the feeling I've just cut this music without really thinking about it. So what I need to do now is edit my audio. I'm going to go and click on the audio tab. You can see that the video is very small. When you're in the audio tab, really you're only thinking about audio. The video is not important. We've got the edit tab for that one. So what we're going to do in the audio is just now play. You can see I have some levels over here. One thing to note, you don't want your levels ever reaching zero. They really should be around minus six to minus four, absolute maximum. Ideally, they should hover around the minus 12 mark. So I can see already I'm reaching there. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to move down the levels of my music to about minus six. You know it's a stereo track, so you have a left and right sound as well. Yeah, I feel a lot better about that. That doesn't seem like it's going to go too far loud and distort. So what are all these markers that you can see over here? You can see that there's a whole bunch of little markers. Well, I'm going to go outside, select all of them, 
right click and I'm going to say reset the track levels because I don't want Lightworks to do anything for me. I want to be in control here. So let's go back to the beginning of the video. So we start off with the earth. What would be really cool is if we faded in the music. So let's do that. Let's add a marker. You notice it adds a marker to both the left and right, kind of helps you out. And I'm going to go to about here. I'm going to take my first marker and I'm going to move it down. It's a little bit similar to Audacity, if you remember adjusting the volume levels of our sound in there. So you can see I've gone from zero all the way up to the normal volume that I wanted to. Let's just have a look at what that looks like. Now I think we're going to add a little bit more here. I want the fade to be a bit faster. So what I'll do is that, I suppose. And let's listen to that. Yeah, it's a lot better. So the music comes in, builds up a little bit. And let's have a look. So that's me putting in a simple fade. We can also have a look at the end of the track. As you can see, my video ends here, and yet my music continues for absolute ever. Again, let's uh, just do a little cut, which should be a simple C. Let's go over here and just remove that back end portion, and let's put in a fade. So that will be click near the end of the track, click again for another level, and pull it all the way down to a mute. And what will happen is... And that sounds really good. Let's go back to the Edit tab. And you can see that everything I've done in my Audio tab is now here, showing me that my levels are changing. Let's re-enable the video. Let's zoom out a little bit. So here we have a really good-looking video. Audio from the outside thrown in remembering that we can disable and enable tracks so that we can edit audio and video separately. And also, we took special note of making sure the levels of our music were down so that they weren't distorting. And that's really what it means when it hits zero. You get a really ugly sound. So keep an eye on that and have a go at putting sound in your video.